Howdy. This is Dan Mink with the Rhinestone Roper Show. Welcome back. Today we're going to be disassembling and reassembling the Ruger New Vaquero. Before we do that, take a, take a second to subscribe and push that little bell there. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's take this thing apart. We only need three tools. One is a screwdriver that is just the right size to, uh, to fit these screws. If it's too big, it'll mar your frame, and if it's too small, you might damage the screw itself. So you want a screwdriver just the right size. You want a, uh, a punch to punch our pins out, and a little nail. So the first thing we'll do is make sure the gun is not loaded. Super. We'll push our pin there, take our base pin out. Then the cylinder, then the grips. Now we'll cock our hammer all the way back. You can see a hole right there. The spring is depressed. There's a hole. We'll put a little nail in that hole right there. And that way, when we take all this apart, that spring won't go flying. And since we're here, we'll go ahead and take these uh, the hammer springs off. All right, now we have five, five screws to take out. Take these bottom screws out first. This one here on the point is the shortest screw. This one here on the left is a long screw. It's got a long end on it. And that is so it fits in a notch in the, uh, the hammer pivot pin. This other side out. Then we'll get these two back back screws out. Now we should be able to take those apart. We're going to go slowly kind of back and down, make sure no springs go flying. Because we've got one spring here, a spring and a plunger that goes to the cylinder latch. And this spring right here and plunger that goes to the pawl. Now the cylinder latch is this thing right here that uh, catches catches on the cylinder, stops it from spinning. And this stick right here, the thing that comes up and turns the cylinder itself is called the pawl. Next, we want to take the trigger out. Uh, the trigger and the uh, gate spring come out together, as does the uh, cylinder latch. And that spring is grabbed onto a notch that's in the uh, the pivot pin for the trigger. So I'm going to push on the push on the far side of that pin, push on it with my finger, and I'm going to depress that spring right there to, to disengage the notch in that pin. When the when the spring is disengaged from the notch, I'll be able to feel that uh, that pin go in on the far side. And there it went. You can see it's sticking out just a little bit right there. So I'll depress that with my screwdriver, depress that spring, and uh, at the same time push push on the far side. There it goes. That's one of two pins. It's a smaller of the two pins will be taken out, but our trigger should come out. But the gate spring should come out, as does the, uh, the cylinder latch. Those two pieces right there. Uh, the, the third screw we took out disengaged the, uh, the pivot pin for the hammer, so we should be able to just push that out. We put this together, we want to make sure our notch in that pin goes on the left side of the gun as it's facing now upside down and forward. We got that pin out. Now here comes the hammer. There's a transfer bar and there's our pawl. And there's our gate. The gate just falls off. Those come out like that. And we'll put it back together. Okay, first thing we'll do is just put that base pin back in. Excellent. So we go back to our hammer 
and our Paul. The hammer's facing so the, uh, the under curve of the, uh, the hammer goes towards the end of the gun. And the knob on our Paul fits in that hole right there. That just goes down in there. We'll just let that rest in here for right now. Assemble to get our trigger. Along with our transfer bar. The trigger also arcs towards the end of the gun. And that knob on the transfer bar goes in that hole right there. That's our pivot pin hole. And the transfer bar goes down there alongside the, uh, the hammer. But it won't go until we lift that hammer out a little ways. Lift the hammer out, let the transfer bar go down. So it all fits in there like that. We've got our Paul. Paul is right there. There's the hammer, there's the trigger, and there's the transfer bar. Now we can put our pin in for the hammer, and that's the big one, and we're going to go from the far far side of the gun with the notched end in first, and we'll scoot that trigger around, till, or the hammer around till we find the hole. There we go. Now I want to put our gate back in. It'll just sit there. Okay, the gate's in. Now we want our gate spring. And this 90 degree part right there goes down through a hole in that notch and comes in on top of the, uh, the gate. So we want to make sure that's sitting on top of the gate and not, not sitting inside it. It has to be sitting right on top of it. We want our spring to straddle the, uh, the bar on the cylinder latch. The cylinder latch will go in next to the trigger and the spring comes in on the other side of the frame partition. Lays in there just like that. Now we have our trigger pivot pin. We'll take it in this side first uh, with the, uh, the notch side last. So we'll push that into the frame. Now we have to get it past the, past the spring. So we're going to depress that, depress that spring right there until it gets out of the way of the pin. So I'm going to keep some pressure on it with my thumb, depress it with my screwdriver. Once that spring gets out of the way, that, that pin should go on in there. There it's gone past the spring. So our, our pin has gone past the frame, past the spring. It's into that part of the frame. Now we'll have to jockey our cylinder latch around till it finds the hole in that. I think it just did find it. Now we need to get into the trigger. It went into the trigger. We're into that frame. We push it all the way through. As we go all the way through, we should hear that spring snap onto the, the notch. There it went. Everything's good. We'll make sure our latch gate spring is in the right spot, and it's not. It's come down on the inside there, so we need to push it back and get it on top. There it goes. Now you can see it's it's on top again, so that will work once we get all the parts together. We won't mess with it just yet. Here on the back part of the gun, we got those two screw holes, one off hole, and that's where the uh, pulse, pulse spring and plunger goes. We'll, we'll put it in that hole. Uh, plunger first. So that spring should barely be sticking out. We'll put our other spring in place. And that goes spring first, plunger up. And we'll put our mainspring assembly back in. We'll stick this in between the two legs of the trigger spring. 
We'll slide it up in there and slide our lock back down into place. We need to make sure our the uh, locking hole for the lock is to the right side of the gun. All right, now we're ready to put our two pieces back together. There's three things that need to be lined up all at the same time to do that. One is this plunger needs to come in on top of our cylinder latch. And these are just rest on top of that. And we need to make sure that this spring fits above this hole on this ear right there. We need to make sure this doesn't come up and, and cut our spring off. And we need to make sure that this part here goes up into the notch on the back of the hammer. Oh, and one last thing. This one's easy to forget. Our trigger spring right there, that has to be depressed upward so it goes in behind behind that trigger. If it stays there, you won't get the gun together. And for that trigger spring, that's why we didn't we didn't connect these. Sometimes it works to, to press down on that uh, those trigger spring legs to get that up so the trigger can go in above it. All right, let's see how we're doing. Put the trigger in. That goes in. That part goes in that notch. And our spring went behind the trigger there. And it looks like we're almost in shape. Not quite, though. Our uh, cylinder latch is not sticking up. That means our, we didn't land on the spring. There we go. Now it's up. Now this spring is giving us trouble. Oh, we're good, we're good. No, we're not good. Our cylinder latch is not springy. Something's wrong here. Okay, so far the cylinder latch is good. That lined up, that spring is good. All we got to worry about is our trigger spring. Okay, we're sealed there. Got our lock in place. Our trigger springs back on. Put our screws in. Got a springy cylinder latch. Excellent. Our long, long screw goes on that side right side of the gun, but on the left, how we're holding it. Make sure that pin's in there properly. There we go. Yeah, and you're doing this, anything doesn't work quite right, everything doesn't fit, then something's, 
something's wrong. You just got to back up and see what the problem is. Lots of little goofy things can go wrong putting these damn things together. Okay, we double check our uh, spring there for our gate. It's good. Cock this gun so I can pull that nail out. Now our spring is engaged. Seems like it works. Okay, we'll put our grips on. Everything feels good. Gate works, spins good. All right, that's how to put the thing together. <laughs> Got to be patient, leave plenty of time. You might take a look at some of these other videos coming up. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time.